Now, 20 years, 26 years after wife of winner of the June 12 election, Kudirat Abiola, was murdered, TVC News takes a look at the events that led to her assassination on the 4th of June, 1996. Abimbola Agbebi takes us on this journey. I could not imagine that the purported transgressions of the, of the judiciary could possibly be the Nigerian polls crowd as democracy is put on hold. It all started from the outcome of the June 12 presidential elections in 1993, a date that has remained memorable in the political history of Nigeria. Its first democratically elected president, Moshud Kashimawu Abiola, had his election annulled by the military ruler, General Ibrahim Babangida, an election that is adjudged as the freest and fairest in the country's history. Kudirat Abiola, wife of the winner of the election, made up her mind to reclaim her husband's mandate and led a protest against the military's continued dictatorship. MKO Abiola was never allowed to take power, but instead thrown into prison by the late General Sani Abacha's government. His most recent action of declaring himself the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria incited the public to insurrection and attempting to topple the government by force with a view to insulating himself, installing himself as President however led to his arrest by the law enforcement agents. Despite all daunting challenges and difficulties thrown away, Kudirat faced the consequences and continued calling for his release and the revalidation of his mandate. There cannot be democracy under this atmosphere. An election has been won on the June 12th, 1993. The winner of the election now is now being tried for treason. There's no way they can be, they are just deceiving themselves. Instead of them to tell us that uh, they have enjoyed this power so much, they have stolen our money so much that they want to keep ruling for as long as they live. First and foremost, they should embargo the oil. They should stop buying this crude oil. It is this crude oil. As long as they are still buying this crude oil, in 1994, she was known to have masterminded the oil workers' strike, a 12-week industrial action that was targeted at the military government. On the 4th of June 1996, just few days to the commemoration of the June 12th anniversary, Kudirat Abiola's dream to have her husband's mandate restored was cut short. Reports had it that she was shot dead at close range somewhere in Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Engaged in doing is calling on the government of Nigeria to thoroughly investigate the crime. 26 years after, Nigerians still remember. At the Ikeja home of the late MKO Abiola, lie historical event of decades ago, as a camera lens caught short of his grave and that of his first wife, Symbiat Abiola. And just a few minutes' walk from the spot lies Kudirat Abiola's grave, the woman whose active participation in the struggle to put an end to the military continued dictatorship in Nigeria cannot be forgotten. Today, Nigerians remember her commitment, her bravery, her sacrifice, and her loyalty to her husband and to the fight for democracy. Now, more than two decades after she was shot dead, wife of the judge winner of the June 12th presidential election and the leader of pro-democracy movements in Nigeria, Alhaja Kudirat Abiola, is still being fondly remembered and immortalized for her contributions towards the restoration of democracy in Nigeria. Abimbola Agbibi, TVC News, Lagos.